Across North America, an unprecedented mobilization unfolds as we prepare for a cosmic spectacle unlike any other. On April 8th, 2024, day will briefly turn to night as a total solar eclipse casts its shadow across the Earth. This rare event, where the sun is completely obscured, revealing a breathtaking ring of fire in the sky, marks a moment of awe and wonder. Welcome to Universe Revealed. In this video, we dive deep into the heart of the eclipse, unraveling the science, dispelling the myths, and exploring the profound impact of this celestial event. From statewide emergencies declared in anticipation to the intriguing theories it has sparked, join us as we explore every facet of the upcoming total solar eclipse. Solar eclipses are those extraordinary cosmic occurrences that have long captivated humanity with a sense of awe and wonder. They defy the ordinary. Besides being mesmerizing sights, when viewed safely, they also play a significant role in unraveling the mysteries of the cosmos. Before we dive any deeper into the unique insights about the upcoming solar eclipse, let's first explore the definition of a solar eclipse and its underlying causes. Solar eclipses occur when the moon passes between the Earth and the sun, casting a shadow on Earth. This creates a temporary darkness during the day. A total solar eclipse is when the sun is completely obscured by the moon, and a partial solar eclipse is when only part of the sun is blocked by the moon. On April 8th, millions of people across the United States will witness a total solar eclipse as the moon's shadow moves across the country. Many will be reminded of the spectacular total solar eclipse that occurred on August 21st, 2017. In 2017, about 215 million U.S. adults, or 88% of U.S. adults, watched the solar eclipse, either directly or through electronic means. They saw the moon pass in front of the sun. However, the upcoming solar eclipse will offer a different experience compared to the one in 2017. The eclipse in 2024 is expected to be even more captivating due to variations in its path, timing, and the scientific research opportunities it presents. Let's understand them one by one. Firstly, the upcoming total solar eclipse will have a wider path of totality compared to the 2017 eclipse. What is the path of totality? The path of totality is where viewers can see the moon completely blocking the sun, revealing the sun's outer atmosphere called the corona. This means that more people will be able to experience the total solar eclipse directly. In 2017, the path ranged from about 62 to 71 miles wide. But during the April eclipse, the path over North America will range between 108 and 122 miles wide, covering more ground at any given moment. The 2024 total solar eclipse will pass over more cities and densely populated areas compared to the 2017 eclipse. So more people will have the opportunity to witness totality. About 31.6 million people live in the path of totality for this year's eclipse, which is significantly more than the 12 million people in 2017. Additionally, an extra 150 million people live within 200 miles of the path of totality. Just so you know, you don't need to live within the path of totality to see the eclipse. In April, 99% of people in the United States will be able to see either a partial or total solar eclipse from their location. Every contiguous U.S. state, along with parts of Alaska and Hawaii, will witness at least a partial solar eclipse. Next comes the time span of totality. During the upcoming eclipse in April, the period of totality will be longer than it was in 2017. In 2017, the longest period of totality was 2 minutes and 42 seconds near Carbondale, Illinois. For the upcoming eclipse, totality will last up to 4 minutes and 28 seconds near Torreon, Mexico. As the eclipse moves into Texas, totality will last about 4 minutes and 26 seconds at the center of the path. Even in areas like Economy, Indiana, durations longer than 4 minutes are expected. As the eclipse crosses into Canada, it will last up to 3 minutes and 21 seconds. During any total solar eclipse, totality is longest at the center of the path and decreases towards the edges. However, those aiming to witness totality shouldn't worry about being precisely at the center, as the time in totality decreases gradually until you reach the edge. And the most exciting factor that makes this solar eclipse a rare one is the aggravated solar activity of the sun. During the solar cycle, the sun's magnetic field flips about every 11 years, leading to periods of heightened solar activity followed by quieter phases. Solar minimum, when activity is lower, sees fewer large eruptions like solar flares and coronal mass ejections. Conversely, solar maximum is marked by increased solar activity. In 2017, the sun was approaching solar minimum. During the total eclipse, viewers could see the corona. Since it was the time of solar minimum, the sun was magnetically symmetrical. 
the sun's calm state restricted the flow of streamers into the solar atmosphere to just the equatorial regions of the sun, resulting in a simpler appearance. However, during the 2024 eclipse, the sun will be in or near solar maximum, displaying a more complex magnetic field. This will likely result in visible streamers throughout the corona and a better chance to observe prominences, which are bright pink curls or loops emanating from the sun. There's even a possibility of witnessing a coronal mass ejection, a large eruption of solar material during the eclipse with favorable timing. No wonder why there is such a huge buzz around the April solar eclipse. There are many scientific projects lined up during this eclipse that aim to answer key questions about our solar system with just minutes of darkness to gather data. NASA is funding various research projects to expand on findings from the 2017 eclipse. Led by researchers from different academic institutions, these projects will study the sun's impact on Earth. Also, instruments launched during the 2023 annular eclipse will be relaunched during the upcoming total eclipse. A couple of spacecrafts named NASA's Parker Solar Probe and ESA and NASA's Solar Orbiter were launched after the 2017 eclipse to study the sun's corona. As viewers on Earth observe the corona during the eclipse, these spacecraft will provide additional insights, offering a unique opportunity to compare observations from space and the ground. U.S. citizens are definitely in for a treat, but we have a very important question here. Is viewing the eclipse with the naked eye safe? Without a second thought, no except during the short total phase of total solar eclipse, when the moon fully covers the sun, it's unsafe to look directly at the sun without proper eye protection for solar viewing. Using a camera, binoculars, or telescope to view the bright sun without a special solar filter on the front can lead to immediate and severe eye injury. Here are some crucial safety guidelines for watching a total solar eclipse. One. Use eclipse glasses or a handheld solar viewer to view the sun during the partial eclipse phases before and after totality. Two, only look directly at the eclipse without eye protection when the moon completely covers the sun's bright face during totality. You'll know it's safe when you can't see any part of the sun through eclipse glasses or a solar viewer. Three, put your eclipse glasses back on or use a handheld solar viewer as soon as even a small part of the bright sun appears after totality. And the talk about safety during an eclipse doesn't end there. The Oklahoma National Guard, accustomed to responding to extreme weather events, stands ready to support public safety during the solar eclipse. Oklahoma's National Guard is preparing to deploy for the upcoming total solar eclipse with an expected influx of 100,000 visitors to McCurtain County. They will support emergency management in handling the large number of tourists and provide first responders and hazmat response units in case of incidents like industrial fires. NASA has identified Ida Bell in McCurtain County as one of the prime spots in the country to witness the total solar eclipse, set to occur from 1.45 p.m. Central Time, or 2.45 p.m. Eastern Time, to 1.49 p.m. Concerns about stretched public safety resources have been raised as the eclipse is expected to draw crowds nationwide, prompting some schools to close for student safety. Residents along the eclipse path have been advised to stock up on essentials as traffic congestion may overwhelm local roads. The Federal Highway Administration has cautioned that the surge in traffic to remote regions may result in improperly parked vehicles and pose a wildfire risk in areas with dry vegetation. Officials are also preparing for potential search and rescue operations, anticipating challenges like traffic buildup and lost individuals wandering off from stopped vehicles. The Oklahoma Department of Transportation has created a solar eclipse roadmap to monitor road status, including ongoing road work in areas where the eclipse will be visible. Residents are encouraged to explore viewing spots in neighboring states with potentially less congestion, such as Texas and Arkansas. Solar eclipses have both scientific and cultural significance. It was the event of a solar eclipse that unveiled the sun's dim corona, leading to the discovery of helium within the sun. It also supported Einstein's theory of general relativity. Despite centuries of eclipse monitoring, we still learn from them. From a scientific perspective, solar eclipses help researchers understand solar activity and phenomena like solar flares and sunspots. But beyond the scientific realm, they also hold cultural significance. Ancient cultures view them as divine omens and perform rituals during eclipses. And when it comes to the upcoming April solar eclipse in particular, it has sparked controversies and become the focus of prophecies. Many believe that the upcoming eclipse will mirror the 2017 solar eclipse, forming a near-perfect X across America. This has led to a major question. Is this just a natural event taking place, or is it a sign of something much larger and more ominous? The reality is that these speculations lack scientific backing and remain just theories. 
They make a great subject for gossip, though. Today, people continue to celebrate solar eclipses as these events bring them together to witness the fascinating display of nature. They spark curiosity and inspire people to learn more about the universe. Are you ready for the upcoming eclipse? Share your exciting plans for witnessing this celestial event with us in the comments below.